Hi there, my name is Callum Thompson. I'm a learning support officer for the Business School. Um, this is just a short video demoing how we can upload single files into Moodle without actually creating a new resource. So it allows us to just take files that we have and perhaps we want to share as a resource at a later date or we just want to get them up there to share in a directory. Um, it's just how we get them into our file manager. We'll also have a quick look at the file manager and what that can do as well. So um, to get to the file manager in Moodle, what we do is we scroll down and we go to our administration panel which is just on the left hand side, sorry administration block I should keep the terminology um, and then you'll see that just under questions and above the unenroll me there's um, this link called files so if we click files you'll see that that takes us through into file manager now this is exactly the same file manager that you might recognize from when you add a resource and if you remember when you add a resource you give the resource a name and then you go down and you can kind of you can choose or upload a file and it brings up a file manager this is the same file manager so we can go in here and we can manage our files from behind there without creating new resources um, so a couple of things that we can do here um, for example if I wanted to delete this demo spreadsheet I could tick the box next to it and from the drop down menu here I can delete it completely or I can move to another folder. Now if I click move to another folder, essentially what happens is that if I click this, then it tells me I'm one file selected for moving, go to the destination folder and press move files here. So then I could perhaps go into this demo directory, click move files here, and you'll see they place it there. And I'll just move it back again. Um, move to another folder. go back to my original folder and move files to here. Now one thing to be aware of is that if you move any files which are linked to resources on the center column of Moodle, um, so if it's a resource you've already named and you've already um, linked by choosing the file, then if you move it, it will break that link and then you need to go back and you need to relink it again. So a mistake that sometimes people make is they try to tidy this area up and put things into file uh, files into folders and then they all get messed up and we can't find them. Um, now you can also you can click here and you can rename your file. So we just give it another name, demo spreadsheet. We could just call it demo spreadsheet one. Click rename. And there we go, it's now renamed. Um, so lots of little things we can do there. We can also, if we want to create a zip folder, we can take perhaps by beside this past exams folder, and from here we can say create zip archive. And it's just going to be called new zip. Create a zip archive and then you'll see we've got this new zip and this is just a copy of this past exams folder okay so that's just a couple of quick things we can do with the file manager the main one that we're going to look at is how we upload a file so to do that I'm going to click on upload a file here I'm going to browse now you'll see it says we've got a maximum upload limit of 100 megabytes for a file and um, if we click on here um, just our upload of, or browse button takes me into my file browser for my computer and then on my desktop, which is where I am, I'm going to select this document one and then just click open. And you'll see that that extension, which is on our computer, C drive, it's on my desktop document, is now shown here. And I click upload this file. And in a few seconds, it then pops back to the file manager and you'll see that now this doc one is here. Okay. So that's how we upload a file into our file manager and a few quick tips about how we use the file manager. Um, to find out how to upload a file and then share it, there is another um, video which relates to that. Um, there's also a, a video called Uploading Zipped Folders into Moodle, which is essentially the reverse process of what we did to create this new zip file. What it means is we can take a folder full of um, files from our desktop, zip it up, upload it into Moodle, and then we can unzip it. You'll see that this demo directory has an unzip um, button here. It lets us just unzip everything. But that's a bit more of a process that is demonstrated in um, uploading zip folders to Moodle available on the Kelt YouTube channel. Okay, thanks very much.